This podcast is rated R for restricted. Under 17 requires accompanying parent or adult guardian. Why is life so hard? It doesn't have to be so hard. Everything's good. Too. Why do people make movies about life being so hard? What's the point of it? Ah, uh, just as cathartic, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, uh, catharsis. This movie should have been called Catharsis in a field. Uh-huh. Catharsis. Yeah, yeah. Shitty people. It was good though. With the, with the salt of oh, the side. TC of gets to go first. We're starting quick these ah, days. Ah, here we go. Wait, this wait, wait, week. Wait, what is this? Let's talk well, about this. Is a podcast. We're watching, we're watching we don't movies. Even fucking introduce ourselves anymore. Nope. We don't do any normal podcast thing. No, nope. we're just no we're social just media. Just, uh, yeah, we're like complacent at this point. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows like, the deal. Rate, subscribe. Nah, we don't. None of that. <laughs> no, fuck just, off. We don't even do. We are. We don't do social media. Yeah, we don't do that. Don't even subscribe. Just listen to the next episode. We like the numbers of the the listens. Right, 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 right. You don't have to look us up. You just go yeah. and listen. Yeah, yeah. If you right. like what we do, tell yeah. your friends. But yeah. it, it, right. otherwise, that's better. Otherwise, don't feel the need fine. to talk to us either. Because most of the things <laughs> no, we just no. ignore anyway. No, that's yeah, that's often pretty <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> everyone's like, hey, you you like this movie? You should watch this movie. And I'm like, thanks for the email and goodbye. Yeah, Thank you. But I probably great. won't like that movie and then yeah. it's awkward. Thanks. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then you get mad at me because we never do an episode on it. And you probably stop listening. This is why I'm so glad I don't do any of that for us. Because I'd be like, that movie sucked. You suck. Yeah, yeah, Stop like, emailing you me. Suck. Yeah, you, right. Your family sucks. I just get to ignore yeah. all of this shit. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Three billboards anyway. outside Ebbing, Missouri. It's a movie yeah. directed like, by Martin McDonough. Title. Written and directed by McDonough. Like, like, He's an uh, Irishman. Qual- like myself. Yeah. And like DC. McDonough. Yeah. Uh, this like qualifies as like the odd, most odd title that makes total sense once you see the movie. Once you see the movie, yeah. But it, odd fucking title otherwise. It's like. Yeah, it's long. I mean, this was. I thought this was great. Nice. Yeah, it, is, yeah. it is TC. It is TC. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, go. I, I thought the I thought the story was pretty pretty crazy. I mean, it just was like a nonstop domino. I mean, it just boom, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Just when I thought I couldn't get any more crazy, it got crazier. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I really liked um some of the the scenes between um Woody there and uh, <laughs> why am I calling him from Cheers. <laughs> Right. His, name's, Woody his still Woody, name is Woody. His name right? is Woody Harrelson. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So it, it works. But I'm thinking about him as Cheers. Wait, wait, was, for was some his reason. name in yeah. Cheers Woody too? Was yeah. Woody in Cheers? <laughs> yeah. Right. Sure I was. made it easy for him. <laughs> but anyway, I thought him in the uh, what the hell is the other guy's name? God, I'm not Sam Rockwell. Yes, yeah, Sam Rockwell. I thought right. their interaction was his name Jackson. Great. What was his name? I can't remember. In his the movie, Sam Rockwell. Yeah, in the movie, yeah, his name oh. is Sam Dixon. Rockwell. Dixon, 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 Jackson, Dixon, Mason. We got whatever. we got Willoughby and we got Dixon. Yeah, and Willoughby we got and Dixon. Mildred, who is French. Mildred is something else, man. She still looked like she was on the Nomad set. Um, <laughs> shit in buckets, uh, except yeah. she was pissed yeah, this she's time. Not she's not shitting like, in buckets. I got no this fucking time. water. I don't yeah, have. Right. I don't have a roof. I'm in a lip mobile home and yeah. I'm pissed. Yeah, you're in. Anyway. The, uh, no, that was the line from the other movie. Nope. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I thought that there was a, the, the story was, like, I'd be like interested to read the script because I think that they probably, I mean, this was all done in the writing and the, uh, talk about like subversion of expectations. Yes. I was thinking about that yes. a lot because yep. you bring that up a lot with watching yep. this film that totally happened like over and all over the in this. time. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. over and over and over. And they did Is a this real both good your job. Guys first viewings of this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, nice. yeah, I hadn't seen this. It sounds yeah. like it from from that right, right there. Right, I was you're, like, you're hearing some enthusiasm yeah. at first watch. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I could see like you know once you know where the story's gonna go, I could see it not like if you had to watch this again, I you know. Oh man, Maybe, I was, although I don't want. I don't really. know if I would. I don't know oh, if I oh, would Teddy, like. Are you are you middling negative or what? No, well, no I'm still pretty it. positive. But I mean, oh, okay, I really okay, like okay. this movie. Like you guys, the first time I watched it, and the yeah. second time, it kind of annoyed me in a lot of ways. Because you knew where it was going, right? It makes sense. You knew where it was going. Part of the thrill of this is how it's not what you expect. But also, I, I, I was so that, surprised yeah. by all the things you're talking about where it's like, and I don't want, like, I still want you to talk about it. But oh, wait, 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 we yeah, should say, yeah, actually, so, this is one of those films, if you haven't seen this, go watch it because we're going to spoil a lot of shit. And part of the yeah. joy of this movie is how it goes in the direction it goes. That's true. And, you might right. want to skip this podcast That's if you true. Uh, have Also, I wanted to mention, too, that this is relevant to the podcast because we're going to do 
the Banshees of Inishirin soon, which and, is Mark, Mark McDonough's in, in new movie. In Brugies, we're going to do that <laughs> do one. Do in and then uh, Seven Psychopaths, I think we should maybe do for Halloween. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Uh, that, that, uh, one, that one, I mean, it was fun. It just did not seem That one as... gets better when you watch it more. Oh, really? I uh, think so. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll watch it again because it was it was just entertaining. It was just silly yeah. is, is my recollection of it. It, it was not like as like interesting as uh, in Brugie. Disagree. Uh, uh, I mean, so I, I agree that it's it. not as interesting as in Bruges, but it's... Does it, anyway, I don't know if anyway. I've seen in Bruges. Oh, we got to watch that one. Yeah. Oh, we got to do it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know I how mean, this one's in the yeah. top 250, so I just wanted to also mention this one is number 166 on the top 250 right now. Oh, is uh, it? Three billboards is? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I can so. see why. They've got a star-studded cast. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. shit, you could yeah, watch this kidding. film and never have seen a good film before in your life, and you'd be like, oh, I know all these people, right? Like, even oh, if the sorry. story wasn't good, this is a hell of a fucking cast. Yeah. I right. mean, it really is. Um, and they're all and, doing yeah, a lot of acting. That's they for damn really sure. They really are. They, yeah, they really yeah. are. And, well, and I really liked um, how, how they used visuals to tell the story. They just did a good job with that. They didn't feed us all the information. They kind of snuck it in left and right. Like, oh, I'm paying attention to the, the, you know, the small little guy right now. And you're like, oh, why am I doing that? Oh, cause he's going to come in in about an hour that you, yeah, yeah, so, right. so yeah. TC, I agree, but you'll notice all the cues the second time you watch it. And oh, they, sure. they're like really I'm obvious sure. the second oh, time. Oh, of course they are. Yeah. Of course they are. Yeah. What I thought about most as I've been, you know, doing the writing thing is just like, I really would want to read the script. I think that yeah. the script would be something that I, and I, I meant to get to it, but I just didn't. I mean, because it, it would rely on your mind. It would rely on your mind. So you wouldn't have all those like, But it's like you know, this movie does cues. such simple, I don't know, just watching it a second time. It seems like, like you mentioned the Peter Dinklage character when they show him, it's, he's going to come back. They do that with like Sam Rockwell wearing the earphones, the first yep. scene, like yep. they bring that yep. back. There's the a MacGuffins. lot of things they show once They're the and then they come back yeah. later yeah. once for right. like a plot thing. So it's like, well, yeah. it's kind of not that complicated, you know, like, no, it's, it, you know, what it is formulaic. It feels formulaic. Yeah. 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 And I, I can see how that happens because everything is so almost ridiculously contrived mm -hmm. and maybe on second watching that gets a little annoying on the first watching it's unexpected. Yeah. yeah it's so right, unexpected right, that, right. that it just knocks you out. It's and like, it holy looks, shit. It looks amazing. And the acting is amazing. It's right. really like that's, good. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The acting is Sam Rockwell fucking kills it. Yeah. He is so good. In but this. like I can picture them writing this and being like, okay, so we have to get to this point. Right. Like, what's the craziest thing we can come up with for this part? Right. Like, uh, and then they just sit there and they're firing off shit to the wall. Right. Like, right, like yeah. how are we going to put yeah. these two characters back together in yeah, the most right. awkward fucking situation? Right. We're going right. to make that happen. Even we if should have a girlfriend it, that's really dumb. Right. Right. We're but bring also a sweetheart in. because it'll be the opposite of Mildred. Right. right. And then they go into all those things and then they figure out the story based on Naomi. You know, Naomi was always like, I like her whenever that dumb 17 year old or whatever was on TV. Yeah, she's 19, like, I like yeah, her. She was of course. Fine. And that was the whole point. Right. Because yeah. like, we know that it has nothing to do with her and she knows it has nothing to yeah, do but, with but, her but they're and all like, gonna shit on her anyway but like the they're same. gonna shit on her because that's what they do yeah that, that's and on top this, of it yeah. like yeah Right. And the movie gotcha. allows this. That's that's what, and again, some people get all riled up about this, but the movie, these characters will crap on anybody, whether whether it's because of P Peter Dinklage is a small person and they'll call him a midget and all of this. They do this stuff because they are like just these kind of crappy people that are living these sort of horrid lives. And it just lets it happen. It doesn't like, I don't know, it doesn't pass judgment. It doesn't still make those characters bad. It doesn't make Phoebe bad. It doesn't, you know, I don't know. It's just amazing the way it pulls it's that part off. Part of the issue I have with the second yeah. watch is Sam Rockwell's yeah. character, how they try to play him off as not a bad guy. And also Woody Harrelson's character. But, but how they're just like, he's an actual good cop. No, as no, 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 as I, he doesn't I fire Sam Rockwell. Contrived. Fire fucking no, no. Sam Rockwell. Well, we have to remember where it's set. Right, they don't know, do that. This know, is a small town. I know, but right? it's still like they shouldn't make him out to be a fucking hero he, like the he movie tortured, does. He, he yeah, but he wasn't a hero a until he, he should have been fired. Right, but no, he changed. He, Woody right? Harrelson That's thought just, thought he was like, uh, you know, he's like, I see it inside you. Yeah. You know, like as right. soon yeah. as he's fired, the police force is better. The guy comes in two yeah. seconds later, they fire him because he's a competent right. cop, and Woody Harrelson right. is not. Yet the movie is still like. Then yet they still make Woody Harrelson out to be the angel. Like, yeah, they do. So, so, but and they also like make. Sam Rockwell's character out to be so bad at first, and and and, and it's that's ridiculous, the biggest almost. problem because I have with the movie. That's what they're trying to do because they guy. know the end right, is the right. good, so they right. have to they have to set it up he's as far guy, from that as possible. You yeah. see, you see change. It's in very him. It writing like formulaic. Stuff. I'm not bought on the change. Yeah. It seems like a flip switch. I understand. And it, it, 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I totally, again, at first viewing, I was like, this is so pretty sweet. So would you but, have, you would have preferred then to have like no, a more, I, I, like, did you, no, no, hold on. You right, would have preferred right. Denny to like have a, um, like a, a little bit more of a setup there between him, like having the fire and then becoming better because he apologized. Right. I mean, that to me, that was the change either. Was I think like when two, he was in his, so would you have split that up further? Is that what you're saying? Like I you just needed one more of, setup. One of two things should have happened either. Like his character in. So right now I think it's black and white beginning and end. He's either, he's bad in the beginning He's yeah, yeah. good in the end. And there should have been mm, yeah. a more of a gray area. So in you the need beginning. a gray. You need I need a gray, gray in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, I need a longer uh, transition between the black and the white. Where the, he yeah, like, so that's what I was asking. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a fair point. Yeah, and, yeah. and if you once you know that's coming, the thrill of it then is no longer there. And then you sort of yeah. see how weird it is. And then is. I'm just I mad did, at I the end because like they're sitting in the car talking about maybe murdering this dude and their buddies, even though he knows that she burned his fucking face off, which well, no, but you have to remember too, though. I I thought about that too, but these people knew each other since they were kids. Right. So like but they she have he was like a piece of shit thing, forever, right? right? But like it's a small town thing, right? Like he's such a piece of shit because he's always been a piece of shit. But they all know and him. They all, but they all, and they all also know his just, mom, and they, and they all know right, how fucked exactly. up his mom is. Right. And they all know how stupid they all are. I grew up in a small yeah, town, and right. it's not like that not would the bring same you together. Small town. Not no, the same but, but I that doesn't bring this, you together. That small no, 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 town, it does in that town. Well, but I, I think this film captures that really well when they when they like comment on what well, like the interactions between Rockwell's character and the other characters how they comment on his mom and they they like know how to stump him well they know how to get under his skin too and they've been doing it for their whole life exactly yeah, right. it, it conveys that so fucking well because they like yeah. know how to they know he's like fucking drunk and in a way he's threatening but they know how to defuse him by confusing him <laughs> yeah those right. moments I are really so like brilliant. those moments it's so yeah, funny. They good it yeah, is they so funny. brilliant both both in terms of not just what like the writing, but the characters, the way Sam Rockwell plays his character is unbelievable. I think yep. it's just amazing. Yeah, no, he how was he, fucking he phenomenal. Was the best and he character. even gained yeah. weight yeah. while he was in the movie, oh, right? Yeah. Like yeah. he started out skinnier and yeah. he looked bigger by the time because he was drinking more. I mean, they they definitely did a lot of production. But and I writing really in this. see where you're coming from because I was thinking of this, Denny, too, in terms of they, they, I think part of it is the movie's really setting you up because they're wanting, at least I feel like this, like they were setting it up. So, like, you think Sam Rockwell's the bad guy, and, and potentially you're thinking he's the one that raped the girl and killed her. And he's so bad. Oh, I didn't at the really beginning. think that. I, I was thinking, I, well, I saw this well, is where it goes. I, I thought uh, the movie. I thought the movie put it out there to to do that, but it would have been too stupid to actually believe it. It would have been too stupid, but, but you just sort of see like, oh, oh I see. But yeah. like the movie wants it's you to believe it, but I, but I was just like, ah, you're not going to get me this time, movie. <laughs> but, but for all I knew, it's like it's like the, the movie sets this up. It's like, all right, you know, here's this, yeah. the, here's the bad racist guy, here's the good cop, sort of Woody Harrelson guy who's going to have to like confront the bad guy before he dies, and they're going to solve the murder. I, I felt like I saw this coming, and the movie subverts. Oh all no, they that. were good at subversion in this. Yeah. Uh, for I, sure. I mean, I, yeah. I felt like that's where they were all going. That's what made the movie partially what made other than the and the performances as well. But that's what made the movie so enjoyable was how it like just goes. No, that's not what's happened. He's dead now. Yeah, and, I know. Uh, <laughs> they moved right through some shit. Like it didn't yeah. even matter sometimes. Right. And, but it did when you call, you know got to like the third act. They had really done a lot of setup in that first act. Yeah. Really, um, that second act was like all different uh, than I was expecting it to be. I was yeah, not and, and once anticipating it to go there. Then, then I yeah. was hooked in like, where is this going to go now? Yeah, what the hell is going to go like, on now? Right, right exactly. <laughs> yeah. I know, like, because you can't, uh, at, once I figured out that I couldn't get used to what the story was telling me, that I had to just watch, it was like, oh, right. fuck, what's up next? What's, and then you get <laughs> right. excited. You get excited to, like, get to the next part. Right. Uh, that's, that's like a, a really cool thing for a movie to pull off. Yeah, but regardless right. of anything right. else that's going on, to pull off, to get you in that space where you're like, all right, now I don't know what the fuck, but fucking, I'm interested. Yeah. And I mean, at least <laughs> right. it wasn't like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like some other movies that just no, confuse no, the confused. shit out of you. Right. Because the story is coherent. It's right, just right. not like they're not giving you all the information. Yeah, yeah. You, you just know? don't know where it's going to go now. And right. I think that's yeah. really brilliant the way this movie pulls that off to put you in that space as a viewer. You're like, all right, now the sheriff's dead. <laughs> and I don't know where this is going yeah, I know. at this point. And I was like, right. damn, Woody's gone. He was the best one in this fucking right? thing. You know? yeah. <laughs> uh, shit. I mean, Mildred was good, but damn. He was awesome. He was so good. I mean, he was just a great, the interactions with him and Mildred were awesome. Uh, oh, they were. The, there were many, many scenes in this film where it's the interaction, the, the characters just like playing it to the hilt that's so great. Like, yeah. the, you know, whether whether it's Mildred and Woody or it it's... um. You know Fletcher and anybody else. It's it's great. Even yeah. Fletcher and his mom is really good. Yeah, his mom is yeah. that scene where she's like, 
suggesting to him how he should go after her friends is so evil. It's so well done. It's like I felt like that. Yeah, I agree. Her acting there was good. That scene seemed like the scene where it was like, well, it's not his fault. His mom is a monster. You know, it was like trying to get you to be like, well, maybe he isn't so bad, but still, he was that bad because he he didn't show any sympathy before. No, that. no but that that's what's that's well. And other than how stark it was at first, that's again another really cool thing about the film is understanding where they're coming from. Like this guy's fucked up, but look where look who brought him up. You know, and, and yeah. showing that and letting you see that. Those sort of aspects about it, I think, is is impressive. Um, yeah, I just they did you know, a good job on the subplots. I thought yeah. for sure because they were all kind of really interconnected, and you didn't need to like care. Like you could, you knew that you didn't have to give a fuck about the ex husband because he wasn't going to change, right? Right, but and even, like that, even and that like, was fucking the way and that was good, was like, and that's yeah. tough to do too. Like it's hard to get <laughs> yeah. through a movie where the character doesn't do anything. But be himself the whole time, and he's an asshole, right? Like he's great. an asshole. There, yeah. He has his sympathetic moments too. Which again, some people hate this about the film that they let these total like awful people seem sympathetic in moments. And and why and, like, like people like regular people? Yeah, right. But, but one, like one of the funniest. <laughs> when I think of the moments in this film, it's just a hilarious moment where. You know, he he's like about to like try to strangle her again as the abusive husband. Yeah, the son pulls the knife, knife, and, 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 and she Phoebe comes, in, comes in. Am I interrupting something? And like no. And and what's even more hilarious about this is like they act like this is something that's happened. Like hey, numerous what's up? Times. Yeah, no, hey, bathroom's over there. Yeah, no problem. Right. You uh-huh. know, this is this isn't like normally this in is any, like their any dance. other movie. Yeah. Right. In any other movie, this would be like the, the climax where yeah, the right, son pulls right. the knife on the dad. Yeah. But no, this has probably happened numerous times. Well, my favorite <laughs> part about that scene is the look that she gave him after. Right, right, yeah. The, the thank you, right? And then they had that they had that equal moment again when she kicked, she kicked the shit out of the bullies at the high school yeah. when she kicked them right. in the nuts and shit. And he was like, thanks, <laughs> that mom. That scene was so funny. Right? It was it great. Was, it and was. And they had, she got back. And that, and I mean, those were moments that build the, the relationship up. Yeah. And I think it worked. I, I thought it did. I, I thought I, it you did. Know. I mean, some people, yeah. again, there's criticisms of this film. It's like, oh, she kicked high schoolers or she burned a police station. She, yeah, these yeah. people need to relax. She should be in yeah, jail. That's sure. You guys, ever seen, you guys ever seen the movie Falling Down? No. Mm-hmm. Here comes the comparison. No. Falling Down is a really good movie. It's got Michael Douglas in it. It's about a guy that's stuck in traffic going to work and he just snaps, gets out of his car and starts walking in a direction and just like causes destruction the entire way. He like, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He just, he's sick and fed up of like everything that everyday life has, like the right. expense of Coca Cola in the store or how slow certain <laughs> things are. And he just like, it's cathartic in the same way where he just like, Acts on it, you know, like he punches yeah. a guy in the face. Like none of it us doesn't mean can that do you it. should do this, right? Or it's yeah, a good right. Thing, right. It's a movie, but it's like right. the, Francis McDormand's character does this for a lot of things. She does it for cops. She does it for the Catholic Church. She does it for like asshole oh, husbands. Oh my god! Oh, that my scene god. with the priest that is scene fucking with the priest amazing. Was it awesome. Was so good. That was beautiful writing right there. It was, she joined it was. the fucking gang, man. Yeah. <laughs> she joined the I loved fucking it. gang. I know. I loved it. I, know, yeah, I, loved, it. I loved that. That was awesome. I was like, yeah. I was sitting in my chair, like, yeah. Now that's fucking. Her, right her there. ability to show that like <laughs> seething anger is so well done. Oh, yeah. Like, like and she her, barely her, moves like, when she does it. Right? No, but right? yeah, her like simmering is just fucking amazing. She she again w- earned her Oscar. She does too, it. She just like, like in the scene too, where that guy comes in and starts threatening her. Her posture yeah. and her like the way she yeah. stands is kind of the same, but she acts so well through the way she talks and like yeah. her face mm-hmm. that like, like you can she's see scared, she's trying she's to be pissed. strong. Yeah, yeah. but right, she's right. she's afraid and a lot of right. other things too. No, no, the very it's, least those it's, two it's, 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 it's like a masterclass. She's, she's fucking amazing in this film mm. in those, in the, in that showing that like she could have just been afraid or she could have just been pissed, but no, she shows all of it. It's very mm-hmm. complex and it's just, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing how she pulls that off. Yeah. She did a good job. Oh, I mean, yeah. and they, and they really, they did a good job of like, uh, you know, twisting the sword a little bit on her failures. Right. You know, I thought Again, they did a good it, job. It's there. sort of melodramatic and seems yeah. over the top. Like, oh, I hope you like get when raped. she couldn't save you know, the uh, the billboard. Right? She couldn't say that was like the metaphor for her not being able to save her daughter. Right. I mean, you know, they set it up for like the fact that she was, um, you know, saying, "I hope you go get raped," and then she got raped and killed. Right. Right. I mean, like it, they had like all those moments. You know? Yeah, they had those moments where it was just like, "Yeah, you suck too. You are a shitty oh, person yeah. no, too." No, no, right. No, yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That doesn't mean, and and that's where it's it's frustrating to hear like criticisms of the film. And it's like, oh, these are horrible people. We shouldn't feel any sympathy for them. It's like, no, fuck you. They're like, have you human. ever met a normal person? Like, oh, oh, somebody's racist. So that means they're subhuman and we should not feel any sympathy for them. We should just mm-hmm. like what? We should just like treat Tell them, them as to, like, ne- to never come back. 
Right. right. That there's no, there's them no for redemption life. or humanity to them because nope. they're they're racist. And and that right. means then then that's like, what should we do? We should just kill them and put them in camps or whatever, right? You know? There's like no fucking question. Racism, bad. No fucking question that racism <laughs> is bad, right? Yeah. But that doesn't mean the people who are racist aren't fucking human. I mean, that's the point they're trying to make. I get it. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't think they make it. Uh, I, I, I don't think, well, the racist thing, no, but. I do think in some ways they're capturing some of this stuff. I mean, you want to get in this idea of like Trump supporters, whatever you think of these people as just raving lunatics and you don't know how miserable or what their, what their moments in life are like or where they were raised or who they or, are or, or what they're or going through. I mean, yeah, not, I know. it's very easy to demonize them and think of them as not human, but that's the same fucking thing that they do to black people or whatever it is or homosexuals right, or whatever. Or I know what you're getting at. Enter, just, enter yeah. issue here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I just think with yeah. this movie, if you're going to, you know, try, to redeem a character that is like that, you need to spend more time redeeming him. I agree. And again, on second watching, I think I'm going to have the same opinion as you, Denny, on this in, in terms of there was Probably. just too much of a flip there. You know, it's like yeah. he he was. Oh, they, this, I he, mean, this he, thing he could be so long. Be, if was, it, if I know it, he know. was set up to be so awful, and then Woody. And then there's this intervention because Woody he's reading a letter Woody wrote, and then he just a switch flips. Well, no, you know? it was the fire. Um, well, was running through the thing. Yeah. yeah, but and he lost his. I mean, because he had to go. And he lost his job. I mean, he had a run. He had a run at that. He was in a crisis. And that, I think that what like, you're saying yeah. is it didn't. It didn't like they, that second act for him. He didn't really get yeah. any build up because we had to get the Mildred story in. Yeah, so I like know, there had so to be that switch there's for him. A, that was going on. That like her part of the story was driving it forward, and she was doing all this crazy shit. Right, like that was only the tip of the iceberg with her fucking putting the thing on fire. She was going crazy at that point. But that was like pretty interesting stuff. And then like they had to cut in his his arc, right? So he was I agree. I hear it was like all of a sudden he got a fired and now he's on fire and he's that's it. <laughs> right. Right. But I mean he, like, he's still I mean okay. again. I mean, I'll buy I it. I still but. enjoyed the moments, even if I don't. Yeah, think, me too. If I, even if I look at the unrealisticness of of what happened or or how things were so starkly and things just flipped, like even the moment of um, Rockwell's character in Red and they're in the hospital, I thought that was so fucking moving how that played out. Like in yep. the moment, you know, it, it, it's well, so yeah. Like, I mean, he saw him being good, right? And like, it's like it doesn't matter who he is, right? I mean, and, and part of that's Rockwell's acting where he's like fucking crying as he's all bandaged. Nah. And, but showing so much emotion in his eyes and, and the guy like brings over the orange juice. I was like fucking near tears. It was so uh, well done. Yeah, I thought so too. And if you think about how contrived it is and annoying and I whether his character over the really top gets there. This time. I know. Yeah. Right. And I, I, don't I can know. see I, that. I'm just also in a really bad fucking mood this week. So yeah, I don't right, know right, if right. I well, that. You no, yeah, 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 and talk yeah, about your mood, right? Yeah. And that's fair. It is fair. But but I could see on a second watch seeing, you can see the mechanism. You're seeing behind the curtain this time because you're not carried along by the movie this time because you know where it's going. Yeah. So I can totally see like on a second watch maybe Maybe you, I would you say see don't watch this movie scenes. again. Is what I would. Say. I mean, I don't. Maybe. So the funny enough, right? Like when I, we watched Whiplash, right? When we watched Whiplash, I was like, "Ma, we gotta watch Whiplash. Like you oh, gotta right. watch yeah. Whiplash, right?" <laughs> I would not. I like. I did not. I was like, "Hey, I watched a pretty damn good movie, but yeah, like it was. It was right. good. That was another one. Once you know where it goes, yeah, I wasn't gonna yeah. be like, let's watch this one. Right. Once you know where yeah. it goes, all that tension and and stuff that unfolds in Whiplash is no is not. And, and it may that's not. totally fine. Some movies might be best just watched once and they're fucking good when you do it. Yeah. Right. So there's right, nothing right. wrong with so that. So thanks right? for listening to the podcast. There's right. no reason to be here. You shouldn't even hear <laughs> right. any of this. You fucked yourself um, if you haven't yeah, seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so really, guess what? Really, you should, yeah. Now don't even bother to watch this one and let's watch this thing drop Sorry. out of the list. Right. Huh? What that's do you right. think? Yeah. But, but that's okay if there's a movie that's really good to watch once and it's, yeah. it's going to lose some of its magic, like any thrill ride or any kind of thing. Once you've experienced what the magic is, seeing it again, you see you see behind the scenes. You what do see we the think? Wires. The prestige. What what's the uh, pinnacle of this type of movie? What do we think? Where you would watch Sixth it again Sense was one for sure. Sixth Sense. Right. I mean, once you know the secret, it's like the whole movie is not nearly as interesting. I thought. I mean, I guess Eternal Sunshine would be like that. Yeah. No, but that one's no, still but that one's. Good. I've already watched that, that one. one, that one. No, I know. But it. the Sixth point Sense. is, is like once you know the storyline, it, it does. I remember my first watch, and it would definitely different. What about on like a watch. movie that's like a ride that the ride isn't fun the second time? Yeah, that's kind of maybe what I was thinking with Eternal Sunshine. Yeah. It, well, uh, but but the thing is, being like you watch it again, and it makes the movie worse. Whiplash is a little like that. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Yeah, okay. So I'll try to figure right. out another. Like, I, I agree. Movie. What like what Denny said about Whiplash last week was was. 
uh, not last week because we're, we're all oh, John, you fucked up the timeline. Ah, uh, no, I no, actually, I think the... no, no, you're right. It was, was last, it last week? week. Yeah, I, well, I think the only person that no fucked up the timeline was probably we, Denny we, there we have, because no one's the tracking this. <laughs> Sorry, audience, we we put the horror. We do this out of sequence because we did all the horror films. Oh, now John's giving away the farm. John, what are we doing? Come on, come on, trade secrets. You're giving away all the secrets. God, we anyway, thought the hate mail was so weird. Whenever it was, we talked about <laughs> whiplash, which I don't know when the fuck it was, but I mean, that was a really good point Denny made, and, and we were both <laughs> saying this. The second time, the movie was not as enthralling because we knew where it was going, and so that made these long sequences of tension just sort of annoying. Uh, uh. And, and so some films might be like that. You watch it a second time, it's not going. It's going to like be a detriment to your enjoyment of the film. And and then in an odd way, then you're like, oh, I don't like this film as much as I did. That's kind of a bummer. Um, so yeah, I don't necessarily want to watch this one again, but man, Nikki and I watched this and we both like, were just enthralled through the whole thing. No, mm. yeah, we, we saw it in theaters back in 2017 when it came out and I walked out of the theater being like, Martin McDonough, the guy's the fucking man. He's yeah. Three yeah for right? three. And some films are better not rewatched. That's okay. I that mean, that is okay, great. right? I mean, like how Manchester you know? by the Sea, I wouldn't how watch that know, again. Guys? Well, how do you know? Because you don't fucking know until you watch you it again. You don't have to. It's like, the oh. fucking movie. I always yeah. rewatch this movies. The they should come with if a recommendation like it, at the end. They should the say, beauty. warning. Yeah. If you Only watch this one again, it will it will detriment. It'll be a full detriment to your enjoyment of your first watching of the film. Right, it would say, if you're like Denny Kennedy and you can't do it and you want to watch movies a lot, skip this one yeah <laughs> i think i'm getting pretty good at realizing when i'm watching it now you know because 2017 was like right at the beginning of this project but yeah. now we watch a shit ton of movies i think i could recognize them now dude i mean i think the amount of the amount of study that this fucking podcast has brought is pretty impressive i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's probably better for us than it is for the listeners Boy, but, you know. man. <laughs> Yeah, they, yeah. they get all the information for free without all the research and the watching and stuff. Oh, that's right. that's true. In, 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 in a lazy day there, and age, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. they're just yeah. jogging or whatever. Yeah. You know, they're having a good and time. And then when someone goes, did you ever see this? They're like, no, but I listen to some fucking ridiculous podcast that they don't want any money from. And uh, they, it was uh, it was decent, actually. And I know all about it. But now. I'll I didn't provide have to watch my it. criticism of the podcast along How the way. How long was the podcast? Two hours? Uh... That so I can't criticize sense. the movie, but I can criticize <laughs> yeah, the podcast if you want to hear about that. <laughs> right, yeah, some real annoying people there. Yeah, right. <laughs> Something about fun and uh, really well done. Yeah. Is it good? Would I Jenny was it? mad. And no. <laughs> no. Hey, okay. you got to talk about a movie that they didn't want me to see. We're not close enough once. friends for me to recommend you this podcast because you might look at me like I'm a fucking weirdo. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I'm just going to play it safe and be uh, sort of like cool <laughs> and right. critical. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, that was fun. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, now that, now I kind of want to try to watch it and then, just you know, to see if just, you, you experience yeah, the downturn. Right. And just yeah. give up if it's like, I'm starting to see it. Well, the thing is too, I was surprised cause this is the, obviously the second time I've watched it. I've watched in Bruges like five times wow. and I've seen seven psychopaths three times and in Bruges is as good as it was the first time. That movie is oh, not getting shit. old. Yeah, yeah. That's that movie good. Is I'm, excited. I'm excited to all see right, that one. All right. And Seven Psychopaths, right. I agree with you, John. My first watch, I was like, all right, this is a little lighter. It's a little goofy. But second and third watch, there's some emotional stuff that happens towards the end that like hit me harder in the second and third time. Really? With oh, Sam I'm, Rockwell I'm in it. Okay. Because he's in I'm wow. excited to watch that one again, too. Let's let's go watch all his fucking movies. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm down. Like, yeah. I'm down. Yeah. Although that, we don't want to ruin it for Denny now. <laughs> no, I've already seen be the other so... ones multiple times. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Be on our deathbeds and be like, I fucking ruined that movie. You ruined that movie for me, <laughs> If you like the writing in this one, you're going to love Oh, yeah. Oh, Bruges. I bet. All right. Well, maybe I'll try to actually read the script after. Maybe, yeah. It might afterwards. be interesting to read those scripts and after. see. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, what else you got, TC? Oh, uh, it's still me. It's still it's you. Still, <laughs> it's kind of in you. We've been uh, popping yeah. around, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I no, not really. I think um, you know, they I think they did a really good job on some of the production stuff, especially with the fire and the and just sort of the the goofiness of uh, you know, the the comic relief. You know, I think that they the actors really played well, you know, together on the screen. They really did. Like even his, uh Dixon and his mom, yeah. like that that was the perfect choice for his mom, right? Right. And um uh, Man, it was good stuff. I, I definitely watch it. Uh, I try to watch it again, but you know, we'll see. I, yeah, I mean, I, I really liked some of the uh, like the version that we talked about earlier too. So, but I don't have anything else. I don't think. I want to talk about Denny. production. Denny, okay. what's, what's the best shot in the movie? Best shot in the movie, guys. There's a the right answer to this question. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> damn it! So much pressure. Take your time. All I'm seeing is the billboards in different settings. 
And that's really? probably not the right answer. It's, so there's this one shot in, kind of in the middle of the movie. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe middle, later middle, that I forgot a lot of the movie, like scene for scene. But as soon as this shot started, I remembered what it was. And it was a, okay. spoilers, it was a long shot. It, a is, it, is, long it the, is it the beating up of red? Because yes. that was another long shot that uh, wasn't. I remember thinking about that shot. So he walks across the street, shot. goes up the stairs, beats yeah, yeah, the shit yeah. out of him, throws him yeah, out the window, yeah. goes Be- back down the, the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was another like impressive shot. I remember yeah, thinking yeah, of that. Yeah, like yeah. this was this was like that that was a little bit different than the rest of the film in terms of a long sequence being shot. Yeah. Yeah. And dude, the way that uh, Rockwell just fucking walked when he walked out, like it was his, just such like a fat his ability, like yeah. sheriff, you like, know, like, 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 like one of those guys that's yeah. just a prick. Like even when he walks, he's right, a prick. right, right. No, right. him showing the way uh. he showed his anger was just fucking amazing as he moved around, like the amount of like how pissed off he was and, and not at the people who were there. He was pissed right. off because his friend died. And just, yeah. I don't know, the way he showed that was was amazing and terrifying. Like it was yeah. scary. Well, you kind of pity him at first, and then it moves into, like, hate. Yeah. And then it starts to move into, like, ah, oh, he could be turning it around. Well, maybe I'll give him another chance. And then and then you start to get further on, further on, and you're like, it is that motherfucker at the bar. I know it's that motherfucker at the bar. <laughs> Kill that motherfucker. I know it's him, right? And then, and then like, I'm all like, ah, they got him. They got him. He's going to get him. He's got the DNA. Right, right. I'm like, now I'm rooting for him. Right. It was, so, and then you know, it goes that quick. movie twists you again. And be like, yeah, nah, right. it's not him. It's not that right. guy. And then, you're, and then you're like, who am I supposed to be following here? You know? And it doesn't matter. It's actually Dixon. And I, lo- I love that the film <laughs> really? did that as well. Yeah. The, the film decided, you know, because again, you, you go for the Hollywood ending. Oh yeah, they got the killer, you know. Yeah. But but no, that's not nope. what the film's about. And they they decide they very specifically. Well, no, not none of these that. people get what they want. Right. And when they do get what they want, it's short lived because they're doing something shitty. Right. So like they, you know, I mean, those are people. That's what I liked about it. I mean, that's what people do. It's another great thing about the film that, that again, it's the subversion thing where one way or another, you thought the crime would be solved, right? Yeah, that, I that, hope you so. Figure, you figure the fucking crime's going to be solved. That's like the, yeah, I the hoped. billboards to what solve are you, the What crime. about you, Denny? Did you hope? Or did you figure it was going to happen, right? I figured it was going to happen, yeah. Uh, like the first time I watched it, for sure. I thought they were going right? to find out who it was. Like I, I sure. yeah. everything Respect, you guys right? are saying, I agree with a hundred percent. I thought that guy was the guy because honestly, second time I watched it, what are the odds that the guy goes into Francis McDormand's right, and, uh, shop and, and, and then also the Sam Rockwell overhears him at a right. bar? Really right. unlikely, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, terribly, I know. terribly I know. contrived. I know. Yeah, right. Right. When you think about it, right. But yeah, like it, what caught? Co- like I would have rather seen like what actually caused that guy to go in there, right? Yeah. Like the, there was yeah. no setup for him, so it was just kind of like so this he, is the he guy. Burned some other this girl guy? somewhere else yeah. and raped her. Yeah, I know, what right? Are the odds? Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and he was doing it just to fuck with her, and like, why? Like, they, there was no reason. No, yeah. no, no. There's no reason other than to set up that scene, which is why it didn't really amazing. work that well. Yeah, but it sets right. up that other scene, right? And that's so. That's what I mean. Where they like they had endings to things figured out. And they just right. needed to, and they worked backwards to go to the furthest thing from it, you know, to make it work. If it wasn't so effective, it would be really annoying. And, and maybe it's why it's well, more on the annoying second the second watch, time. As we, as we yeah, I guess, exactly. are now repeating ourselves. Yeah, yeah, It yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, over and over again. Not so but, much. Um, but yeah, but it's so amazing. Those scenes are so great, at least first time that you're like, I don't care. Yeah, it's contrived. But man, this is, this is amazing to watch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think that's about right. <laughs> I don't have anything else really. I was, so I think part of the reason you, you guys are talking about how, at least TC is talking about how like, this is, these are real people, right? That's how you like it. Cause they, it portrays real well, people. Well, it, the, but, and and yeah. I don't know, wait, like, like, wait, wait, wait. Call them real, I just want to say one thing. John, real, wait, real okay, people yeah. meaning go like, through. so realistic characters, right? No, I, think I would that, say what, what I would say, <laughs> I, would, I, I would say realistic. Okay, I get a say, word in. Okay, John. Okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, well, you go, you go. Okay, you go first and then I'll talk. You go. So you I'm go, just want to uh, respond directly to TC's point. No, talk to TC. <laughs> where he's say, talking about that, but I, I don't know. On the second, get a drink again, or something. again, on the second watch, it seemed, you know, I agree with you the first watch, it seemed like real people and it was a little bit refreshing, but then watching it again, it seemed like Hollywood's interpretation of real people and that might have been because I just watched the movie Slacker again, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie. No, Not for a long time. It it has. I don't even know if it's like real Does actors that have or real whatever. People in it? I I don't yeah. know, but it's like oh, yeah. it seems like kind of like a fake documentary type of thing. Let me actually look it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, Slacker was it? It was yeah, yeah. Richard um, Linklater movie. 
Oh, yeah, no, it, it was yeah. in the documentary. Okay. It was I real remember. No, actors that was, and everything. That was you real. sure they yeah. were actors? Yeah. Sure. Well, they might have been using real people to, but to do the story. Because like the but whole the story movie is like five minute vignettes of like strangers. Oh, maybe I'm thinking about something doing... else. All right. Oh know. no, no. Okay, nope. This is not what I was thinking of. So it's no, a, it's a weird movie. It. it seems like he's wandering around the streets with a camera and just interviewing people. But there's might, kind of might be. I don't know. It seemed way more realistic than that. And that was made in like 1990, mm -hmm. right? This movie seems Hollywood, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it also kind of struck me wrong the second time I watched it because yeah, like all I can the see that. like all the acting seemed so typically good Hollywood like Oscar bait type of stuff. It's like it's like also like it's more also too. This is, I mean, given given his roots as a playwright, it more seems like theatrical, like melodramatic, like over the top. Um, what, Martin McDonough what, is a playwright. That was his. Yeah, yeah, that was his original. Uh, that's okay. where he came from. He he did he, he wrote plays originally. Huh. Um, and and very. It does kind of seem like a. a adapted play like, like you think about this on a like a a, a broad a stage and it makes it even seems you could do it right? to make more You're sense saying, yeah you probably could right? do it but yeah. but um it's larger than life in some ways um and i don't think realistic isn't necessarily the right way to do it but maybe melodramatic's better but you just see different sides you you think they're one way but they're another way and and maybe it seems contrived and that doesn't seem real but it's still really interesting to see the different facets of the characters even if that doesn't seem real, I think just showing these characters in different sites and different situations and having it's that relatable. surprise you. Maybe a rela relatable, and relatable. is better. And, and to make yeah. them sympathetic, to hate them one moment, but then feel sympathetic in another moment Yeah, it's is like impressive. normal friends and people. Yeah, and maybe that's not real, but but the way the movie pulls it off is impressive. And it makes you think. It, it makes you think about, oh, I hated this person, but now I don't hate this person. And what does that mean? And I think that's very provocative and, and like... It doesn't mean that these characters are super real in the scenes and in the moments, though. It's very well done. Yeah. The emotions seem real. The interactions seem real. You know, and, and so maybe the characters change in ways or in situations that don't seem real. But at least, again, first watch, it's really impactful because of, mm -hmm. of what happens mm -hmm. and how the characters' mm -hmm. interactions change and how your thoughts about the characters change. Agreed. Go. John wins the podcast. There you go, John Gold. I know, John, take it away. Huh? What do you think? Top 250? <laughs> I am the champion, my friend. Jeez. Anyway. What do you think? Yeah, Where are you going to go from there, John, huh? I don't know. I'm trying. <laughs> what do you think, I, I, John? I, I, I'll just say one more time that Sam oh, Rockwell here we go. Is, is a treasure. I, I just so impressed <laughs> with what he does. He's not your typical <laughs> leading guy. And, well, neither is Francis. I McDonald noticed that whatever, she was uh, top worth. billing, though. Yeah. Well, she was top Francis billing. Also that's amazing. how, here, that's here, how here top she dog is, she was in that time uh, uh, frame. Yeah, but as a woman, she's not sexy. She's not this, that, or the other. She's just like a, uh, I mean, she's just a powerhouse. And, and it's amazing to watch that uh, as a woman actor. That's not very common in Hollywood. Um, so anyway. Well, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt that. No, I'm not going to say that. What? what? <laughs> I'm going to delete this, but she's married Smart. to Joel Cohen and that helps too. Uh, probably. Probably. Because, oh, yeah, because yeah. it I is mean, a very sexist world over there. And that oh, helps. Yeah. No, no, she's had, she's, she's, you know, you take whatever breaks you get, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, she's certainly tried to do her part to help women, other women, like her Oscar acceptance speech was kind of, I thought, very moving. I don't know if you've seen it. For this movie? Yeah. No. She, she sets her Oscar down and she tells all the women in the audience to stand up. Oh. And, and she says, look, all these people have projects. You should go have meetings with them. They need oh, your that's help. cool. It was, it's it was true. Like fucking amazing. Like I thought that it was just it's like, true. I mean, she did all her usual acceptance and then she set the Oscar down she said, I want all the women to stand up here. And it was just, it was very moving. And it was right at the whole me too shit too. Right. Right. So shit that, that was all, bad, you know, in stuff. Yeah. Um, Almost like it's, you know, part of the free Weinstein conviction, mind. probably back in 2018. We it was before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think so. Right. So it was, it was, I thought Ooh, it was very baby. moving, but you're right. Every, but everybody takes whatever breaks they can get. Sure. Oh, and there's a no, she actually was saying no to this movie to kind of counteract myself there. There you go. Oh, really? She had to be talked into it, right? She did by but Joel. I think because, by Joel. Yeah. Right? Uh, Mark McDonough wrote the script with her in mind for this role, but then she got the script and she's like, I'm old. I'm, right, I'd be too old, old for this, old for yeah. this like, 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 she, teenage she girl. Like, I think she suggested in the Wikipedia, it said that she was suggesting to be the grandmother yeah. of the girl or something. But then Mark oh, McDonough wow. was like, well, then I have to rewrite the script and that, I don't think that would yeah. work as good because it's a little more distant. So, oh, wow. oh shit! So basically, she read it, and the the main protagonist was the daughter. 
No, 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 no. At the no. time. Yeah, because oh, oh, she was oh. the daughter was a she teenager. She was still too she old was to like, be a mother. Right. She's like, what oh, woman, even though women wow. have, she mathed it out and she was like, I'd have to be 38 when I had this kid. And even though that happens <laughs> these days, that's not super it relatable. Sense, right. But not in that place, it doesn't yeah, happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. No way. But, but Joe was like, matter. don't think about it. Take the role. It's an amazing role. Take it. Yeah. So right. he talked her into it. It sounded like. She was I mean, it's no. a good fucking, yeah. it was a great story, and I'm sure on paper, too. Yeah. I, I just, that's why I would have really wanted to read the script. Yeah. I might. I, I still might. Oh, did, did we'll Abby Cornish take you guys out of the movie a little bit? Because oh, she's yeah. like this beautiful Australian woman. Well, like, the, it was the accent. The, I was, was just that? like, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> uh, the, yeah, Woody Harrelson's wife. wife. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, here's this gorgeous woman. And then she had her Australian one accent. Oscar moment, her, you know, the one Oscar moment <laughs> right, line right, yeah. that she, she did. Has her Oscar. She did, right. which was fine. She did it was well, good. but it, she, but it was just know. so striking how out of place she seemed. She wasn't in a given way. much because, you know, yeah. she wasn't a very, you know, she was a character that was one, you know, level removed, right? right? Because she was yeah. the wife of someone that wasn't the main character. So right, right. Yeah. She got she got good screen time but, for that. Uh, but I it mean, was like, wow. I mean Nikki and everybody were like, wow, she's really beautiful. And here she is here. Yeah. yeah sort yeah. of in contrast to everybody else in the film. But she was yeah. running away from something, found herself in this small town and married the chief of police, John. Happens all the time. <laughs> 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 it's a story oh, on Denny. itself, baby. <laughs> oh, you're so wise. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that Hollywood in them. That's you're right, right, Denny. I'm sorry. She's got her story too. We'll see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. It's we don't sequel. know what that story is. She becomes the sheriff. <laughs> no. And I liked Red no. too. I thought he was really he inter- was, he was great. An interesting, interesting yeah. character there. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought he was. he was very well played too. That could like, have been a nothing like, character, and he did right, a lot of good no, stuff. He's, with it. he's trying to do what he can. He's like awkward. He's like, oh, I can make money here. Okay. Oh no, I'm in trouble now. Okay. <laughs> Just yeah. yeah, he he was played very well, and and yeah, as as well as sort of his scene. It's not just Sam Rockwell acting so well in that scene of forgiveness, but him, the way he shows his pain. Oh, and then he has the anxiety attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was that was really well done, the way he shows yeah. his pain and yet still forget, not forgives him, but isn't going to like not try to help him either. Mm-hmm. He's not right. going to sit there and try to hurt him in no. the moment where he's... I mean, weak. what can you do? He had, his, he had his panic attack and then he got over it. And then yeah, he, he, he had, sit there and go like poke juice. him in the eye or something. He yeah. had every right to do it and he could have. But, Threw him yeah. out the fucking window. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was, again, really powerful. And maybe not realistic or whatever, but in the moment, really powerful. And I thought it was cool, too, how in that scene they kind of, I don't know if it's misdirection, but, like, I'm sure, because both times I felt this way, you guys probably felt like you forgot that the Red character wouldn't have known that it was Sam Rockwell since we were with Sam the entire time. So, like, mm. the whole fact that his face was covered when... He was set, he was apologizing to him when he was like, "What are you talking about?" That was a right, little bit right. of a surprise. You're like, "Oh, right. Yeah. How would he right. know who he is?" Because right. his face yeah. is covered, right. and he like right. they didn't yeah, tell yeah. him. They didn't. I tell did him have who was that. I in. did have that moment of of like, "Oh, right, yeah." yeah. So, like you just and the movie said, plays it totally. up, and that's pretty good because yep. it got me twice. Yeah, that. it manipulates you really well. I, I, another one, another scene that I loved the sort of the manipulation was. Uh, and, and again, it, it's another moment of the character trying to control themselves as Francis when she's going up to her husband after he tells her he burned the billboards and she's got the wine bottle in her hand. And mm. we're thinking she's going to fucking, fucking she's going to just knock beat him, him over out. the head with yeah, this wine yeah. bottle. Right. And they set it up really well. And she plays it so well that you see her struggling with this. Yep. She you know, wanted they, they to make it very clear. But that honestly, is, that girl was so fucking dumb. Yeah. Like right. She. And so she's not dumb, she, but sweet. No, too. dumb. Like, you know, That's the I thing. Mean, yeah, right. Dumb, though. Yeah. And so <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just love, I love Dinklage had and one of so, the best lines where he's uh, like, She said, Phoebe said, Be cats. I thought yeah, that, was that, was that was fucking hilarious. money. That was money. Yeah. And then she's like, Oh, yeah, I got it from a book. It, bookmark. Right, right. I'm reading. Is that Polo? No, about polio? polio. Which one's the horse? Yeah, on? Which polio? one's the horse? I don't know. Polo. <laughs> like, that's dumb. Okay. I love it. I mean, but it was so fucking 19. But the best part was, is she disarmed. Armed, really intense moments. So she was basically yeah. there just like to be foil. there to like, yeah, yeah because like that's ultimately, almost. well, no, but also they're trying to pair her as far away from him, which is the fucking anger and the rage. And she's so dumb. He doesn't even really get mad at her. Like when she says right, shit yeah. like that, you can't even get mad. You're just like, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, you're just too. It's yeah. almost like, it's I'm like, gonna let that go. it's not even. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. Innocence is a good word. I yeah. like that. Yeah. And so she disarmed all those really 
painfully and, and angry, rage-filled situations. Right, right. Yeah. They could have highlighted her character as just stupid, but they didn't do it that way. They no, did they it did it as, as stupid, like, but she's so well-intentioned. She's sweet, yeah. sort of, yeah. And and I think that that was like really well done to do it that way, not just to make her a mockery as being right, just dumb. Right. Because right. It's like maybe he making, actually right? has a good relationship with her. You don't know. Yeah, you, and be right good. because you don't. Yeah. You can't assume what's going on with them is exactly right. what's going on, even though you want to because he's an ass, right? Right, and that doesn't um, excuse the wife yeah. beating or anything. It no, just of means that not. there's there's complexity here. There's nuances yep. to the people and their relationships. Right. That's all. And since they're trying to make a point of you never know, right? Yeah, that's really what. It, man, that's those, what they're trying those to are, say. Those are fucking great scenes. That the, the again, am I interrupting something? <laughs> they're all like, the <laughs> I can see that drunk. I am interrupting something. I, yeah, this is serious. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like putting it all together. Yeah, on yeah her like own. <laughs> she put it all together in real time for yeah, herself. Yeah. Like, right. yeah, right. Again, really yeah. well. I mean, we should give her some credit. Like that. Yeah. That was she's well yeah. done there. Like in terms of how she like did that. Dude, even like the secretary of uh, Red. When she comes really? in, when she's like proud oh, of herself know, because she's gonna five thousand dollars, like there's too. no bad acting in this movie. The the yeah. cop guy who like was kind of half friends with Sam Rockwell, but instantly right, as soon right. as Sam gets fired, he's like I, just he like, like you were fired. Later. Yeah, 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 yeah you were no, fired. he was good. You're right. The, there's the there's police yeah. sergeant who comes Chester, in like right. comes in with authority and shit. Like he was good. Everyone was really good. Yep. No question. It's a good point. It's a good point. Everybody. The sun. That's the star of the cast, man. Fucking Francis McDormand's son. Really good. Yeah. Like he, he also yep. kind of had a flat character, but like, yep, that's yep. fine. They but it was good because they, those are the. Char- I mean, you're not supposed to because they're not supposed to be the focus. So you gotta right. let them no, ride but, the whole way through. But you, you see know? him struggling, you know, with with his mom, with how right. he. F- I mean, yep. with, with her. With I uh, mean, you see, you factor all that stuff in, and uh, it's just it's a well written movie from from a writing perspective. I think, cause, and that's yeah. what it'll probably only be able to think about once we watch it again, and it's ruined because you know, Denny. Thank you. It looks great. <laughs> no, it still no, looks I, great. I, I can yeah, totally yeah, see yeah. that. And the acting it, is still—it it looks is, great. Is and the really acting good. is still fucking good, no matter what. But you yeah, can start yeah. seeing again. You're seeing behind the scenes. You're seeing the the levers and how you're being manipulated. Yeah, now yep. that you know where yep. it's going. Right, 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 right. And, and that's you fine. can see those facial expressions or those looks, and you're like, aha, uh-huh, I know what that's about. Right. Yeah. Which you didn't before because right. you, yeah, you hadn't seen any of that yet. So, I, I can see it. But what, but, yeah, yeah, what, what it is. I mean, thrill it's ride. like, yep. again, it's, it's not going to be the same thing when you ride the same roller coaster again because you know right. that, what's coming, right? right? right. But, yeah. Uh, let's, let's just Chase list dragon, out all dude. the things that are never, that are going to be underwhelming, huh? Right. Right. Everything yeah. in life, TC. Everything <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no in shit. life. All right. That's Nothing why we're listening to a movie. Stay, pony boy. <laughs> Podcast. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, what do you think? Are they going to kill this guy at the end? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think it. so. I no. don't think so. At this I thought point, he put they, the gun. They, sh- he put the gun down. I don't yeah, think they so. Got, they got they got yeah. a low, long road trip ahead of them. I don't think they're going to do it. I, but I, I think know. they're doing it as an excuse to become friends with each other. That's what I think. Absolutely. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, they were always kind of liked each other, but they were you know small town bullshit. Yeah, they were like uh. they, like you said, TC. This this has this feel of like that gives some realism to it in a way. It's like everybody knows each other, even though they know that like Rockwell's character is this total fuck up. He's like, they've known him for all his life. Yeah, they know what his right. mother's like. And they know right. it's and they like. Know, they just let it all go because that's him. Right. He's been this fucking dumb since we've known him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and, and yeah. his mother is totally fucked up. Like yeah, she's a right. psychopath and we and all know she, that. And she look, probably yeah, murdered right. her, her, How's her, your her husband. How's your mama? My mama right. doesn't say that was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, my mama. My mama. My mama. I loved how Sam Rockwell did the puzzlement when they would bring up the mom. And he would try to like, he would try to be like, no, my mama doesn't do that. Oh man, it was so good. He did that so well. It was so good. I know it was uh yeah he just and his, he delivered his those drunk t- his drunk acting was smooth. fantastic yeah. too like the way right. he did I probably that. get tuned up I mean why yeah. not right you only got to remember a few lines for their <laughs> it shot was, it right? was eerily convincing that's for damn sure yeah oh no it yeah. was good and I mean even the uh in, even the interaction between um her and uh, the date. The little oh, man. Yeah, yeah. No, when, when she was, was out on a date with Peter, unbelievable. A date with Dinklage. That yeah, was also, when he when she was like, "Hey," really when she was like, "Hey," and then he turned around and he was like, and then he really doubled down and just throw the money on the table and was like, "See ya." Yeah, I thought that was fucking awesome. 
you know, she got a taste of her own medicine and shit. Like we all want to, we all wish that that could happen in real life. It doesn't ever happen, right? Agreed. That's the one thing that wouldn't be, wouldn't be that real. But, don't you but it think, was nice and awesome to, to see on screen. Agreed. But don't you think that she's smarter? She's smart enough to know that you shouldn't fuck with a person that is your alibi for destroying a police station? No, I think she's no, that because destructive. because she's so like fucking, yeah. yeah, pissed off and angry. She's not stupid she's just though. Kind of, doesn't she kind of no, play no, like She's stupid. not stupid. You're right. But, but, but also. And she doesn't want to get caught. Fucking because firebomb that would stop. the police. I mean, she's 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 beyond some reason to some extent. She's still fucking firebomb <laughs> the police station. That's true. That's but just, she, she just got away with it. She did it from a hidden location, and she had concealing clothing on. Like she didn't want to get caught. I know, right? but I don't think she, no. In some ways, she doesn't care. She likes being. I disagree. Like, she in. wants to keep pushing the buttons actively. If she was put in prison, yeah, but she, I don't she think would she be cares if stop. she's caught at this point. I don't think in some ways she half that would stop care. her mission. Her entire life is to. Proceed with this mission. She'd be brought in for questioning or whatever, and then she could harass the cops even more. There's a win there. Like, she could just give them shit if they try to bring her in and try to put her in custody. I, I don't know. I just sort of had this. He like was a witness really to see that she burned it down, and she's fucking with him. I don't know. I also she's lucky know that she didn't turn from could a be? character that she cared what else, if she you was know what else it could be? for it. It could be, too, that, lot. like, you know, she was also, she gets in those moments with her kids shit and shit, too, where, like, that like her like beginning of before she likes you or before she's about to say something endearing, she like insults you. Right. Mm -hmm. So I also think that like that little bit of like, Hey, was her being like, Hey, I wasn't that like, Hey, I didn't want you to leave, like stay. Right. Right. And but then he, some, but he yeah. was like, no, you've gone too far right. now. I'm out. Right. So that's another, that was just another setup for her to finally go. Okay. Now I need to start not being such a total fucking asshole all the it, time. It was starting to right. yeah, break her down a little bit. Yeah, too, right. And, and that, but, but she, I mean, that's all it like served, I thought. Yeah, I thought so. There's some self-destructiveness there like this, like, and it leads up to yeah. this big moment, I think, for her even saying thank you to Jackson, whatever his name is. Dixon. Damn it. Dixon. Dixon. Like, come on, call him Jackson. But yeah. anyway, like that, that, it's another really well-played scene where it takes her a while to say thank you to him. Right, as he's like, as as he. Well, like I talks think about that that's that mid the, the the scene where they were trying to set that up it was in the bar, yeah. right. or in the restaurant, in the restaurant, and so she needed to say thank you to him too, but she couldn't do it. So instead, right. she said something insulting, and then we get to the point in when it actually matters, and yeah. now she can finally do it. So that was just their setup, I thought, for that next scene. But I that that's that whole conversation was great, and I loved the feeling of like when. Told her off and yeah, yeah, because yeah. everyone has an asshole in their life where you're just like, I would love to fucking tell you off, right? And you never get to do it. And he did it so well. He did it so well for him to say, Look, I know I'm not great. I know I've got flaws. Yeah. And, yeah. and but, but, but like, look fuck at how, you. Look at, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. The, the whole, the whole, like, yeah, you know, it was, it was yeah, really well done awesome. the way they did awesome. that. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was a great scene. I got a recommendation for you guys if you want to go on a Sam Rockwell kick. Oh, okay. Yeah. What else we got? One of my favorite movies to watch when I'm looking for a feel good movie is The Way Way you Back. I need it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, I love The Way Way Back. The Way Way Back. You ever seen oh, The Way Way Back is great. Oh, we we should it. do that one. It's kind of like a pretty light movie. There's not much it, it to talk is. about. I was going to say, I said that and now I've rethought it just yeah. like you have. Oh, I, wow. just, I love That was quick. Watching it. It is, it is a good film. <laughs> I've seen All it right. twice now and, and it is really good. Yeah. How long is it? Less than two hours. That's, for that's sure. always my first. That's always my first. It's a question. really, it's a really good coming of age film. One it, hour, forty three really, minutes. Yeah, it, oh, it's wow. really good. And it's got Sam Rockwell as a uh, water park employee. Right, he's kind of like uh, a, a cool guy in that film, if I remember right. He's yeah. kind of like, right. he serves to be the guy that helps the little boy on his way to manhood. Yes. Ah, sounds kind of creepy. In a very no, wholesome it's not. way. It's very wholesome. <laughs> the yeah, whole yeah, movie yeah, is yeah, extremely yeah. wholesome. It's very right, funny. Yeah. Sam Rockwell is and, and awesome. And Steve Carell plays awesome. an asshole in a good oh, way. Does he? Yeah. He, he's really good oh, at awesome. being an asshole in that film. But he, right. he plays, he I'll plays check it a out. good asshole. And it's got Allison Janney and Tony Collette in it too. Mm -hmm. hmm. And the kid actor is yeah, really it, good. It was good. I, I've seen it twice and really liked it. But yeah, nice. I don't know if we want to we want to watch it for the podcast. No. But. That's one of Naomi's ones too. And whenever we're just like bummed out, we're just like, way, way back. Let's watch the way, way back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Thursday night sounds like a good we night. We saw then. that in what is the um, the Cam <laughs> little Cambridge Theater or the Bro where is God damn it? Oh, the one with like in the school gymnasium with the rock hard no, seats. No, I don't remember Boston anymore. But but so isn't that in crazy? Brookline. What was the little theater in Brookline? Oh, the one with the, the oh, curtain when you walk yeah. in there. Yeah, the one yeah. that had the, like yeah, that was great. I used to have class. I used to have class in there. Yeah, there yeah. was like wine and beer, which was a big deal. Is that just back called then. the Brookline like, Theater. 
I, I yeah, don't remember. I'll what look it, was it up. I know where it, I know exactly. It's tiny. It's in, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, there was like I know yeah, exactly it was great. It we saw it there, and it was it was great. Coolidge Corner Theater. Oh, Coolidge, Coolidge Corner, Corner Theater. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a good spot, man. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it was funny. I, I saw something on the online on like Market Watch, and it was like um, Brookline Village said to be one of the best places to live. And I was like, "You think? Nope. Oh, I had no clue. I had mm. wouldn't have guessed. I lived there man, for one right? year. Like, the night dude. I moved in at nine thirty at night, I didn't move my toothbrush. I went out to go find a place that was open that sold toothbrushes. Nope, nothing nope, is open past closed. nine p.m. Oh yeah, it's a family <laughs> town. Yeah, dude, it's no, a total. That. Yeah, you want a doctor, lawyer life? If you got that going on, Brookline Village is your spot. Horrible. It's a good spot. It's they got good too. schools. They got good everything, right? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. loaded. So, of course, they've got yeah. all that shit. Yeah. But anyway. We were, we were in next door to make a plane. We were like, that's downhill. That's but, down. Oh, yeah, you are that's way. Down. You are. That's uh, south. You are. But, yeah, yeah. I love Jamaica Plane, though. You're really just it. the scum of the earth. Yeah. yeah. Square, well dude. Somerville yeah. Theater. Yeah. Talking about the dot. Next, oh, yeah, you'll be talking about like, <laughs> you guys were white trash, but still somehow cool. Uh, I lived uh, in a lot of places scummies. in Boston, and Somerville was the, or Davis Square was the best area I lived in. Ah, yeah. uh, that's a time. nice spot. Yeah, man. yeah. Anyway, now that we're done Anywho. reminiscing, little little local conversation there. You got any book corner there, John? Nothing. These goddamn new movies. All I can they do is read the shit. script. But there's I no commentary. It, there's so. no special features for this movie. I have, mm. you know, I put some trivia in there. I have two things I want to just mention. I guess. Okay. Um, this story is based on a, I guess, real life billboards in Vidor, Texas. That oh, uh, yeah, I wrote up McDonough. on that on the Wikipedia too. Yeah, yeah he saw. But that's what, what gave him the inspiration, right? Right, and the murder was uh, Kathy Page was the murder. The story of the uh, murder was totally different than this movie. Yeah. Um, but Martin McDonough just he was in a bus in Texas and drove by them when they were up in like 1991, and it stuck wow. with him forever. Yeah, and he eventually just like that's it's just so awesome how that works. Yeah, he, like he was around he was it, the story it down. forever. Yeah. yeah, and he eventually like well, got, you can tell the, the cast together in his man. mind, you know, and then yeah. wrote the the script for the the people that actually played the roles. Oh yeah, which that's, he's that's, lucky that's, enough that's to do. Thing. Yep, because this is his third movie. I mean, he's oh. he's three for three so far. But uh, well, when you well, sit down with four for three, four for four, I was going to say right. When you sit down with. When you sit down with the producer, the first thing they ask you is, well, "What do you think? Like, who do you who do you want to play for this?" Right, Brad so, Pitt. I mean, of course, Brad Pitt, course, and George Clooney. Like, you gotta have, you gotta <laughs> have, you gotta have the answer to that, right? So they, I mean, I, it's a lot of it. Just that's baked into the process. You, you pick a good actor, you have it, and it helps write the story a lot yeah. too. I think. Yeah, but they never caught. It was assuming in that original case that it was the husband that did it because oh, wow. the, the, the girl was found strangled. So she wasn't a girl. She was 34 years old. Well, the woman, oh. she was like half living with her. Uh, I think they were still married, her husband, but they weren't like yeah, together they were, anymore. There was talk that they were going to get divorced huh. and yeah. they found her in the car was strangled. She, she went basically. to go sleep oh. with a, a, another dude that night. So she was like kind of oh. cheating on her husband that was going away. And the, the oh boy. theory is that the husband found out about it because she asked the husband to watch their kids so she could go out <laughs> to a hotel and like see the you watch dude. the kids while I go and cheat on you, honey? Thanks. Hey, would you mind? I mean, I don't ask for much, you know? The story yeah. is he found yeah. out about it. And then when she came back from sleeping yeah. with a dude, he raped her and then strangled her and then Jeez. felt bad about it. And That's then terrible. apparently like redressed her, like put new clothes on her. Oh, and is that her why they car. thought? Well, so like the guy who slept with her said she was this wearing different allegedly, clothes. Though, because we all allegedly, because the cops did a really yeah. shitty job, which is why the billboards were up. But he's his witness statement was that she left with different clothes. Then they found her in the morning. Um, right. They found the husband's semen in her because he had a vasectomy because there was no actual sperm in the semen. Oh. But the other dude, yeah. you know, had sperm. So like it definitely was the husband. It seems pretty obvious the way the Wikipedia page puts together, but. Yeah. What happened was like the father of this Kathy person who was 34 years old knew it was the husband that did it and the cops weren't doing shit. So it was the father who was like, you know, much older at the time, like in his 60s, oh. started putting the billboards up because the cops weren't doing shit. Yeah. Saying he, they, the billboard said they thought the cops took bribes. Yeah. And it's also so this the wow. husband was like he was friends with a lot of the cops in the town. So it's true to a real story. I mean, that's similar. Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Except yeah. it's, you know, not cool at all. <laughs> it's very yes. depressing. Yeah. But. Yeah. Just, yeah. But I mean, I understand like the repurposing of a real thing that obviously helps drive a, oh, yeah. Yeah. a, a I good mean, story. The, the idea yeah. of this, you know, yeah. somebody taking out, like trying to take things into their own hands through advertising. Yeah. 
Well, it's not what I was expecting it was going to be. There's true say. crime podcasts on it and stuff. So if you're interested in true crime, it's probably a uh, it's a good one for you there. It's got some real good it's murder in there. Mystery. It's got some good ones. Yeah. Yeah. The mm. only other piece of trivia I have is that window scene where um, Sam Rockwell throws it red out the window. There was no tricks to that scene. It was all done in camera. It was all stunts, you uh-huh. know, like the I whole thing was real. Some cardboard boxes. Yeah, they had that. to probably put a pad down outside for him. No pads, oh, cardboard man. boxes. <laughs> it's right. We know cardboard Maybe. boxes are it's the way. Cardboard boxes, I think a pad dude. would be easier to pull away afterwards. It's Fuck absolutely, you. You did. It's oh, wait, absolutely wait, wait, wait. You, You're the one that talked it's me into cardboard boxes. I, I'm strictly cardboard boxes John, now. use your head, John. They have to <laughs> no. pull it away. They have you don't to pull need to that this is bullshit. Yeah. It's no, you know, you get a little, you get a little, you get a little corral for the cardboard you, you boxes. Rope, you just you pull rope the corral all the boxes. Away. Yeah, yeah. You yeah what do they got? They got a box guy. Cardboard box corral, right? little okay cardboard box corral. Cardboard? And they just pull away. You board, think board. the box guy makes a little more than the PA does? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You got to get a rope guy to tie those boxes together. Separate right. unit. <laughs> rope guy. You got the corral uh, guy. Yeah, I think he used plastic. <laughs> plastic rope, <laughs> nylon. Yeah. Uh, but for that scene, it was done. Yeah, single takes. They did five takes, and they used the fourth one. Oh. Wow. You yeah. mean the long take of that scene? Like, yeah. All real. Thing, that was all like real. Yeah. 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 I mean, so the first Great one didn't was go good. well, was but still, by the yeah. third, they were warmed up, right? And then yeah. the fourth, they nailed it. And they, they nailed it. Like, one more for good luck. And then they probably safety safety it up. Shot. And they're like, nope, we got it. Fourth is good. fuck it. Never mind. Just the sequence of that. The way he beats him up, throws him out. But then the way the assistant comes in, the way he attacks her, geez, it's just. It's shocking. It's shit. It was. It was. And the blood, like, they they got him. When he hit him, it looked good. That shit yeah. looked good. Yeah. Um, it had some good CG. It the, was the, that yeah. I, I'm, I'm saying yes, but I did notice that was the one time in the movie. I noticed the CG was when yeah. red had blood on his face after the gun punch. Right. Oh. Right. It was immediate. There's no way. Like, I mean, yeah. they, you know, not, probably not like just, it, yeah. it just bloomed or anything. It was just it all just of a sudden there. like the center of his face was red. Yeah. 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 But he did yeah. move quickly enough. And I didn't notice it the first time. I was being no, very, very nope. picky this time, apparently. Is well, what I'm right, you're not feeling really well. Yeah. You're not feeling well. <laughs> Come right. on, movie. Yeah. Fuck you, movie. Yeah. <laughs> right. Fucking life, but man. Fuck with all you, that man. being said, I would put this in the top 250. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I would, yeah. too. Totally. Yeah. I would. Yeah. Yep. And I was going to even before you guys probably would have convinced me to, to go back yep. anyway, because I do remember watching it. Uh, the first time and being blown away by it. And there's a lot to enjoy about it, even when you're yes, cranky. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to go yes in the top 250. I think we oh, all yeah, did. Yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. But I'll be able to yes. relate the next next week's movie to what another movie. Next week's movie is a lot like Back to the Future number two. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is it Back to the Future? Back yeah, to the future number Back one. to the Future number Woo-hoo, one. I, got, I okay. see. I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, not as funny as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I, I, you know, yeah. you, you added to it yeah. and you laughed at yourself. Yeah. I was laughing at myself. Yeah. You you set know, it up so a little yeah. too much. We both so we, we all too much augmented hype. each other a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. the joke's so bad you want to lean into it. Is bad, John. Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes that doesn't work. Yeah, sometimes that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> like, oops. Uh, yeah, Robert right. Zemeckis. We're really getting this movie is number Zemeckis. 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 This movie right now is rated number thirty in the top two fifty. Wow. So it's going up. I don't know. All right. Well, certainly, right. I mean, that was certainly in my time. Your guys' time, too? Uh, I saw this when I was young. Yeah. Yeah. So Back you know, to the a part, a, another part of childhood. Oh, yeah. Me, too. I used to go on the ride all the time at oh, Universal the ride? Studios. Fuck, yeah. Universal oh. Studios. That blew my oh. goddamn mind when I was a I kid. Lo- and we would go every year. And then one, when we went one year and it was gone. What? Mm. It's gone? Yeah, it's gone. I think it's that was my favorite ride when I went there. Yeah. Was yeah, it like one of those gone. like the simulation rides? You know, you get in the no, car. No, it's a whole event. Well, you like sit, a ro- was it a roller coaster? Yeah. No, it's like or, you yeah. sit yeah. in this giant like machine thing, and it was like a three D ride, and the machine moves to the video you that move, you're okay. watching. You walk through it, and yeah. you, you know, it's like being in the uh, the museum of science thing, right? But it yeah. moves. Yeah, that's what I always felt. Like. It was crazy. I just want to point out that I'm not uh, advocating to watch two and three for this trilogy. No, let's not. Let's not. Agreed. It's, I just want to point. I just want to point that out. John, John. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, yeah, we can talk about agreement. that. That was the best gre- agreement. Nope, yeah. I've ever heard of. Usually life. we try to do that, right? Usually, like I know, at I least know. we like a film and we're like, let's let's keep going. Yeah, but, hey, yeah. I, I let's just go for it. No, let's I think not this do is that. a case where we all can yeah. skip it. Agreed. I don't want to ruin yeah, the, the good first one. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know if I even saw two and three. They're not bad. Oh, two is good. 
Three is okay. Two is okay. It's just it's again. Oh, well, now it's returns. all changed in tune. See how this all happens, <laughs> folks? We're just like, oh, but well, it's let's not compared to the three. first one. But we're not it's doing. Not, it. It's you can't not like fuck the first with the first one. one. No, you can't. Yeah. I mean, that shit's badass. All right, well, that'll be fun. All right, so yeah, you need to do some research on this one. Do you know why? Why? Because this movie is considered like one of the top three best scripts ever made and All it's used right, I'll, as a I'll template. Read the script. Boy, you read I will script. read so the look, script. Make sure you look up like why the script is considered good and why okay. it's used as like a template because it is. It's like it's considered like one of the you know the templates for screenplays these I'll, days. I'm going to read it first then I'll read all that stuff. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Cool, day. All right. Next week. Next week. Next week. Same usual time. All right. Cool. Sounds good. Later, Later boys. Stop them.